She's lost. Lost her husband. Lost her way. Then the darker way. The road that leads into the funnel. Lost her own. Found the wrestler from the stars. Eater of dimensions. The blind piper. here with us again today and today we are going to talk about a horror film by the name of The Collection. If you guys don't know this is actually a sequel to a film back in 09 titled The Collector. This film is directed by a guy by the name of Marcus Dunstan, one of my all-time favorite directors. He's known for, he directed The Collector, directed The Collection also. He also uh, wrote the script for films like Feast and uh, Piranha Double D and uh, just all kinds of stuff. So, uh, and also for the last four uh, Saw films and the Saw franchise, he also wrote the script for those. So anyways, let's get to the main plot of the film titled The Collection. So we have pretty much Arkin, that's the name, right? Arkin? I am pretty sure. Anyways, Arkin from the last film, you know, he was trapped inside of the box to use as bait to get the next victim. Well, this film pretty much opens up, I don't want to give too much away, but it opens up in like this uh, rave kind of dance underground party place where... Uh, this girl actually uh, opens up opens up the box the, the red the red box that Arkham was in and it triggers this huge saw that like cuts up like hundreds of people in this underground rave dance uh, session thing and that's pretty much the gist of the film we have uh, we have all these people trapped in like this in like this hotel place and uh, the collectors after him Arkin is once again uh, with Arkin is once again trying to get away from the collector, uh, and that's it. The, and there's a girl, there's a main girl in movie two, and she is being hunted down by the collector also. That's pretty much the gist of the film called uh, The Collection. So Ashley, what did you think of The Collection? I really enjoyed The Collection. I really liked um, the first one a lot. I really did, and I was pretty excited to see the second one. And after watching it, I'm really excited to see the third one. Uh, Hopefully they make one, yeah. Uh, they better. <laughs> It'd be very interesting to see what they would do with it. Right, yeah. If, if they do make a third one, he's talking about making it, call, calling it The Collected. So uh, make sure to, I'll keep you guys up in the news for that anyways, uh, going with what you're saying. But um, I really liked this movie. It was really good. Give it 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I, get, I also give this film out of 10 out of 10. The, get this. The movie is only about an hour and 13 minutes, give or take. You know, if you ex if you exclude the credits, the movie's only like an hour and 13 minutes. So you wouldn't think that's a lot of time to get things done. But man, the reason... I mean, once this movie starts, it never stops. You know what I mean? I mean, it starts off with like this huge saw sequence that's bloody as can be. I mean, if you're a gore fan like I am, I'm a huge gore fan. I love seeing blood in movies. I'm just... I don't know why. It's just what I'm into. Uh, but if you're a huge gore fan and none other reason to see the movie, this is the reason to see it because the movie opens up, like I said, with this huge saw sequence. Saw, it's like, because the movie has a lot, you know, and, and kind of, if you like saw, you're going to like this kind of movie. Hope, you know, like I said, this huge saw, like, starts cutting up, like, hundreds of people in this dance session. People's, you know, heads are blowing off, their fingers are getting cut off, and it's just a really great sequence. I mean, great, great opening sequence, right? I mean, just... just saw. Right, whatever it was, like this big tractor thing. Yeah, right, big this big tractor. I just say saw because it's like a spitting saw. Uh, but uh, this big, pretty much this big tractor thing that like you know runs people over. The kind of thing I guess you would mow grass with or something. I, I don't know what the heck to use the thing for. Don't make fun of me. On a farm. Whatever, I'm not a farm person. So. I know. <laughs> 
But anyways, a great opening sequence, and then you have like all these randoms, and then af right after that, you have other great sequences, like where there's all these people in a room, and the ceiling starts to come down, and it starts like crushing their bodies, another great sequence. And then all of a sudden, you have people running down the hallway, and you have blades all of a sudden like slicing them in half, and slicing their stomachs, and the blood's everywhere. So the thing I love about this film, it's a horror thriller, I'd say, and the thrills and the scares never stop. Like you keep, I mean, I wasn't scared during the movie, but you keep getting like, you just keep jumping, you're just like, oh my god, you know, I didn't expect that. There's another great sequence where the girl's hiding from the collector, and he, and uh, the collector doesn't know where the girl's at, so he takes this jar of spiders and he throws them all over the floor uh, so he can find her, and now, so it's this nice, uh, sort of tense sequence where the tense starts to ri the tension starts to rise up because she has to not be able to scream while all these spiders are all over her body, so she, that way the collector doesn't know where she's, uh, he's at. Uh, and then the movie, I won't say what, but the movie also has sort of a nice twist ending. I don't say what, but the ending, what'd you think of the ending? Oh, kind of a really cool, like, ending that you don't expect. Like, not a huge twist, but a pretty good twist ending where, like, you're like, oh, wow, you know, I, I didn't expect that, you know. So, it, like I said, it does leave it open for a sequel, and Marcus Dunstan does plan to have a sequel, uh, I guess, if it makes enough money in the box office or whatever. Uh, and the sequel, like I said, will be titled The Collected, and then that will just end the collection. It'll be like, I guess, the Collector Trilogy, and that'll be it, just those three films. No more sequels, uh, hopefully. Anyways, uh, really enjoyed the movie. Just a really nice, it has some really solid, uh, for only being a $10 million budget movie, uh, they really used all the money to their advantage. I mean, every, there's another sequence that I like where he has like this, uh, AK-47 machine gun or whatever, or some kind of machine gun, and he runs up in there and the bullets are coming out of the gun in slow motion and he's just shooting them and people are getting picked up by a wire and flung down the hallway and, I mean, there's just, this, I mean, if you, if you don't like, if you're not into slow movies, or slow movies, uh, you know, this is not a slow movie, so you don't have to worry about that, but if you're into those kind of movies that, you know, you know, they don't talk very much, but they keep on coming and they just keep on giving you more thrills and more blood and more kills, because the kill count is very high in this movie. Uh, this is probably, if not, my favorite horror film so far in the year. Uh, I enjoyed this a lot more than Texas Chainsaw. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot more than Hansel and Gretel. I think so, I think so far this is probably uh, my favorite horror film of the year. Well, I mean, do you agree or what do you think? Uh, sure. Yeah? You think so? I mean, you don't have to agree, so I was just asking. I don't really have a favorite. Right, okay. Uh, so far, this, this, this and ABC's of Death probably are my two favorite uh, films of the year so far. I, uh, 2013, it's really shaping up to be a great uh, year for films, uh, not just horror, but just movies in general. Anyways, uh, anything else you want to say about the collection? Hopefully in the next few years we'll see a sequel, and if we do, me and Ash will make sure to review it. Anyways, once again, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, me and Ash's review of the uh, 2013 horror film titled The Collection. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the page below, and we'll see you guys later with more movie reviews by Cinepeak.